Welcome back, you guys. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Swadik Mayanja, and we are on another episode of the Everyday Hero Show, where I bring someone in your life or someone in my life that brings us joy, happiness, and does good things for the community that they are a part of, but does not get the credit that they deserve. Today, we've got another special guest. A good guest, a nursing guest, a guest that means a lot. So this guest, she helps the fellow nursing students out there integrate into becoming uh, actual nurses, good nurses. Her name is Janelle. Um, she um, and her duo, Ashley, who is not on today, um, run new, uh, new Novice is the New Nurse. Um, Janelle, welcome to the show. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Um, this is indeed long overdue, but I'm very happy that it's happening. This is good things, good things, right? Um, but, so right from the get, I want to know your backstory before we start talking about what you're doing for everybody else, because we need to spread some love, and you need some of that love too. So um, Janelle, please tell me, uh, where are you from, um, and how did you get into nursing? Yeah, so I don't have that like major groundbreaking, earth shattering, my life changed because of a nurse story where I became a nurse. Um, I'm actually from the Bronx and mm -hmm. my entire life I had people around me in healthcare, but not necessarily in a professional, um, like licensed, um, went to school, have a degree capacity. Um, the people around me, including my mom, they were uh, CNA, certified nursing assistants. And so in that capacity, I was exposed to healthcare. Um, but growing up, I was always told that you're going to be either a doctor or a lawyer. And it's funny, I was just in New York talking to my grandmother about this, because I'm like, I would have made a great lawyer, but you told me that that lawyers lie and so therefore I can't be a lawyer that's the Caribbean family and, <laughs> and so obviously I sort of defaulted because you know growing up in the Bronx you know it's a lower socioeconomic neighborhood you're not always exposed to the different options and things that you can tap into you know constantly in survival mode no one's no one's honing in on what you're good at. No one's showing you that there's so many ways to do it because they're just doing what they can do to get through the day. So it was like doctor, lawyer, obviously grandma said no lawyer. So doctor was on my mind. Um, and I started at Stony Brook University in Long Island, New York, um, initially as a bio major and with the intention of, you know, following a pre-med track to eventually applied to med school yeah. and I remember my junior year well I was approaching my junior year and my counselor you know like you have someone that you're assigned to about like what your major is and she said to me what is your major like what are you declaring and you know where do you see yourself and I call it a quarter life crisis <laughs> I yeah I, I know it was that's what how I felt I, I sat in my dorm room and I'm like what am I doing? Because I really don't want to be a doctor. I'm not passionate about that. I don't want to go through all this school schooling. Um, it was mentioned that I could be healthcare administrator. Like that was a major. I'm like, I don't really think that people make money doing that because obviously you're from the Bronx. The major goal is to make money. And so uh, my mom mentioned to me nursing and I thought about it. I looked into it and I'm like, I could survive that. Yeah, sure. Of course you can. <laughs> let's see. Let's do it. Let's jump on in. So I applied to a school. I call a school back home. Like, so I had to leave the school that I was in, Stony Brook University, and I had to transfer to another school in Westchester County, the College of New Rochelle, which is actually now closing. Um, but I had to apply to that school. Um, my mom made a few phone calls. She knew a few people. And that's when I started my track to becoming a nurse. But I always tell people it's not why I started. That's not the, the grand story. It's why I continue to be a nurse every day. Like that's where the inspiration is. It has nothing to do with like how I got into it. Cause I, it just kind of like fell into me like this is what you're going to do. And that's where we're going with our life right now. 